Imagine spawning into a mysterious Minecraft world that is threatened by an insanely powerful necromancer who has the power to bring the dead back to life and whose only goal was to kill and destroy everyone. Well, today I scattered 100 Minecraft players over 3 different civilizations to see if they have what it takes to defeat the necromancer. Will the civilizations band together to defeat their common enemy or will they perish by the hands of the necromancer? Let's see and find out. This is 100 players simulate war against a necromancer. As soon as everyone spawned in their respective area, each civilization had 30 minutes to prepare before the necromancer would be released into the world. Time which they could use to explore their territories, gather resources, form alliances and fortify their islands. Oh, structure, structure on the right, on the right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Structure over here. There's no, is there a way, there's no way in the tower, it's completely sealed. There's like, it's solid on the end. Oh my! Um, I've just picked up 27 blocks of TNT. Our first human civilization are the Highlanders, who spawned on the northern part of the island. Weirdly enough, instead of staying together, all the Highlanders immediately ran into loads of different directions to explore their region. Meaning that from the start, the entire civilization was split up. Can someone start mining? I think that'd be great. would be yeah, a good I'm idea. Already I'm already on it. Don't you worry, Chief. I've got an iron pickaxe, I'm going. Guys, we found a cave. Where's everyone? I recommend we set up a base and start farming up wheat to get food, because that's going to be our main priority. We should set up a base here. Because yeah, remember, yeah. guys, remember, the necromancer has enhanced speed and so does the undead. The only way to outrun them is with boats. So we want to go next to the water so we can escape really quickly. But there's a building over there. I want to see that, what it is. Yeah, let's see what this is. Like a little castle with a few tents. Exploring these highlands did however turn out to be a good idea, as some of the highlanders found a small keep, including a few tents as well as some loot. Hello fellow highlanders, you found any food? The players that had gotten their hands on this loot, which included some basic tools, food and weapons, instantly became the most wealthy people of this civilization, as right from the start, food started becoming a major problem for the players. I mean, not a very weird thing considering no one was farming, but yeah, right from the start, people were starving. And as a result, a lot of Highlanders left their territory and started looking for food at the other civilizations. What's up, fat asses? Can I get some food from you guys? You got you got food for us? You got food for us? You, uh, you marshlander? Our second civilization are the foresters, who spawned on the eastern peninsula. Just like the Highlanders, they also scattered and ran into all sorts of different directions. I think we should stick together, you know. Yeah, where was everyone else? I don't know, they just ran off. We should probably find them too. <gasps> oh, yes, diamonds. Oh my god, there's houses. I want to slap that house. Because of this, after a few minutes, most of the Highlanders and Foresters weren't even in their own territory. But considering the layout of the island, ventured into the large swamplands located in the middle of the island. In which, just a couple of moments earlier, our third and final civilization had spawned. The Marshlanders. Wait, let's go over here, go over here. No one's gonna be over here. I see a, I see a structure. It'll probably be looted though, but it might not be, so. These swamps were filled with many small houses and boats including some valuable loot as well. I want to try to find the other factions and like if we can just unite them all together. We still have 24 minutes before he comes, so it will be fine. Yeah, 24 minutes ain't exactly a lot of time and they're just giving him free stuff. Because of all this migration taking place on the island, after about 10 minutes, it was already a question whether there still were three separate civilizations at this point. In the end, the humans are just one big civilization living on the same island. They just had to figure it out on their own. Oh, be careful, by the way. There's some you, highlanders wow. and foresters nearby. You can kill people right now? <gasps> oh my god, wait. Sky, if you look over there, there's a clear mountain of... And that's someone walking towards us. I have no idea who oh, that shit. is. Yeah, I'm ditching you guys. Ditching okay. you guys. Oh, that's a forester. I. Hello, whoever that is. Highlanders. Hello. What's up? Hello. Well, most of the encounters between the Highlanders, Foresters, and Marshlanders happened quite peacefully. Some of them did end up in violence. Yeah, good, oh, sorry, 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 sorry,
Thank you. Thank Amazing you. doing business. All right. Yeah, you can go now. Hi, hi. Hi. Uh, hi. I'm sorry, man. If you don't give me all your stuff, we're gonna have to kill you. Yeah. I'm really sorry, man. All my stuff. You got ten yeah, seconds. Like, like, ten, like this stuff. Nine. Yeah, eight. Oh, okay. Nine, right. Seven. Six. Five. Four. <sighs> they don't listen. They don't listen. Because food was still a global issue, some players that have managed to gear up a little started robbing and sometimes even killing people for their resources. Overall, it was a rough start for the humans. The island was in chaos, and many people lived in fear, which only really benefited one person. Okay, we just started. I don't know where I am to be honest, I'm just looking up a little castle. Oh, there's actually loon here as well. That is wild. In the meantime, the necromancer Erokun had spawned in his mighty castle of death, which was located on a separate island off the coast. So my main goal this one is probably just to kill as many people as possible so I can get like a bigger army every time. Arrow immediately started to explore his castle and loot the barrels that he could find, after which he would head into the mines to gather as much iron and diamonds as possible for himself and his future undead. Cause if you haven't realized at this point, if the necromancer kills a player, they will be reborn in his army of the dead. In about 50 minutes from now, he will be allowed to leave his island and will start murdering every human that he can find. Oh my god, there's actually so many diamonds, what? These caves are actually like so big, it's actually amazing. There's even more diamonds here, what? <laughs> This is wild. Oh, and before I forget to mention, Arrow was also given a few buffs. This included a permanent speed and health boost as well as a few powerful items. A 30 second strength 2 rage potion, a few human hearts that would give him regeneration absorption for a few seconds, as well as a one time usable eye that would teleport him back to his castle in case he would get himself into a sticky situation. This all made him an even more dangerous opponent. Meaning that if the humans wanted to defeat him, they would have to work together. Back on the human island, food was still an issue. It seemed like as if people had forgotten that farming was still a thing. Meter, give me my stuff back. British no you steal it! I didn't! Bro, I have nothing Malton. in my inventory. I have Malton, nothing in my inventory. You know what the punishment is? We do give me my loot back, give me my loot back, give me my loot back. You're gonna no, lie stop, 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 stop. one more time. No, 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 I'm no, 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 not kidding. And because of all the chaos going on, a player named Qualls, together with a few other players, decided to settle near the coast. Away from all threats. But of course, sooner or later, this peaceful settlement would be found by other humans. Which did happen when one of the Highlanders accidentally ran into them. This is my land! This is my land! This is my land! No! 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 You're done! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the Highlander, which went by the name Soggy, had been starving from the very start and ran across the entire human island twice, looking for food. Naka! I need food! No! No, get it, get it back over here! No, 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 run away from me! No, 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 trust me, I need friends! I have no friends! I have no friends! I have no friends! Please, please, please! Qualls and his men made sure Soggy was fed, and asked him whether he would bring more Highlanders to their small waterfront settlement to strengthen their position on the island so they could prepare for what was coming. So we need to band together, my friends. We are wasting time. Right now in this conversation, we are wasting precious time where we could be oh. gathering the resources we desperately need. Soggy agreed to their idea and headed back to the highlands. He's such not lasting, like, you can tell. He has that side character energy. It was like, he's, he's gonna get close to the, like, the people and then just die. In between all of the robberies and murders, something very peculiar happened in the swamps of the Marshlanders. One player named Bone Man was exiled by some of the other Marshlanders after he had allegedly stolen some potatoes from another player. Bone Man, who claimed to not have wronged anyone, had been told that if he would show his face in the swamps again, he'd be put to the sword immediately. And as a result, he wanted revenge. And did something that no other human dared to do. And hopped into a boat and headed to the Necromancer's Island, where Arrow was still preparing. Wait, why is there someone already? Hold up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Uh, hello? Hello. What's the great gods sent me here on a mission to help you. And so, Arrow accepted Bone Man's allegiance. Why do you call yourself Bone Man? Uh, because Bone Man is Bone Man. It's that simple. You have voices just like Bone Man has voices? Uh, not really. They tell you everything? After some talking, they both grabbed their gear and left their castle and headed for the human island, which was nowhere ready for an attack. After a while, things on the human island finally started to calm down. Apart from Qualls' group at the waterfront and some other highlanders residing at their keep, a larger third group seemed to form on the most eastern tip of the island. That's where everybody is. I had a good feeling about this. Finally. Hello, What's everybody. Good? Okay. Hello. Yo, you left me in the mines, man. Well, I Yo, now. Adam! I like My this. man! Yeah. Bro, I lost Hello. you. I uh, but I reached with the um, with the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found some okay. other guys. We're a lot of people here. Everything. This is good. This group of people that also consisted of members from all three civilizations did not have that much of a food issue, as their village was surrounded by wheat fields, and thus they had all the time to mine and gear up giving them a huge head start compared to the other humans. Because of their wealth, one member of this group, a player named Dimitri, came up with a plan, in which they could possibly take out Arrow before he could do any major damage to the human civilizations. His plan being fairly straightforward. Together with someone else, he would head to the Necromancer Island to serve as live bait, from which he would lure Arrow back to the village, where half the army would await his arrival. As soon as Arrow would come near the village, the other half of the army, which would remain in the forest surrounding the settlement, would attack the necromancer from behind. The people at the village agreed with his plan, and so Dimitri and his right hand men headed for Arrow's island. But unbeknownst to them, Arrow was somewhere else. Can Bone Man be second in command? Sure. Bone well, Man sees a farm. Yeah, there's a farm right here. Bone Man sees starter tools in here. Bone Man thinks no one is here. Maybe. Well, there's barrels right there. We could help check on that. Bone Man also sees Hogwarts. He see what? It's Hogwarts. I was actually hoping to find a group, but I, it's so hard, like no one is around. They just all no, went a different direction. Me. I think we need to go. <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> They're here. <laughs> hey, um, welcome to my humble farm. I need iron. <laughs> I see, I see people. I see some people. Bone Man does not see anyone. We might have bigger problems on our hand. I just saw uh, there's two people up there. Diamond Armor, Iron Guy. Um, yeah, one of them was Scyther. There's one of ours, like a Highlander. But the other one, I don't know. I don't know how they got... Arrow, come back. Arrow, oh. Bone Man has something. Arrow oh. think Bone Man thinks we should use these. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Hello, guys! Oh. Ah. Hola! No! Oh, Yo, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bone Again. Man likes. Bone Man likes you. Bone Man shall add you. Yes. Bone Man suggests we chase. I don't have a boat. Get in Bone Man's boat. Bone let's Man go, has boat. Arrow and Bone Man had set food on the highlands, and soon enough found the people that were residing near the small keep, and shortly after that, murdered all of them. Those that managed to get away fled to the other parts of the island and told the other humans what had happened at the keep. Meanwhile, Arrow continued to kill every single Highlander that he could find. Hey! Get hey, we water, can talk, man. right? Get to the water, get to the water. Uh, we can talk, right? We can, we can talk Bone after you die. Bone man, watch your bones. Water, I don't really feel like dying. Oh, oh god, Bone I'm not gonna make it. Should. Say hi to the afterlife. But they're not dying. No! no! 
The island lay in ruins. The necromancer had rooted all the survivors and killed everyone that was too slow to escape. And so, the first players had joined the undead army. After this incident, Arrow and Bone Man headed back to their castle so they could gear up the undead that they had just resurrected. Back to stage one. Alright. Bone Man is happy. Welcome everyone Hello. to Afterlife. Now get to work. Get to work. Where, unbeknownst to Arrow, two humans, Dimitri and not you, were spying on them from one of the nearby volcanoes. Dimitri started to map out the island and make plans for their fake ambush. If their plan didn't go perfectly the way they planned, Dimitri and not you would most definitely die and their friends back home would be waiting for nothing. There's people at left. Go get him, Arrow! Go oh, kill him! There's people on the hill. Uh... Oh, get the guy, uh, Arrow. We go get this guy so I can handle that guy. Bowman is frustrated seeing all these people on our land. Run! Run! Hey, guys! Hey, who's up? Oh god, it's everything. Don't you want to join our team? Bowman suggests you join. Don't you want to live a new life? Come here. This guy is getting chased down. Come here. Arrow started chasing both Dimitri and not you. Back to the mainland. Everything was going exactly according to plan. Bro, we can't hold up. Wait, there's yeah. people wait, behind wait, us. Wait, well. uh, oh, there's kills. people behind us. Um, okay, just get out. Uh, get out. Get there's out. people behind us. Get out. Bro, I, I, I don't like this. Just go this oh, way. Go this way. Dimitri had successfully led Arrow back to the village. And as soon as Arrow came near, their plan sprang into action. The humans ambushed Arrow and is undead. Where's <laughs> Bone Man? Yeah, I not know it's supposed to go. <laughs> he went for another route. I don't know where he uh, went. I don't like that. <laughs> Rest in peace, Bone Man. Oh god, <laughs> run, 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 run. There's three. Okay, I'm gonna drink it. Yes, get Arrow. Uh, we're going in. Arrow. We're going in. Arrow. Oh. I Oh, um, nice. nice one down. Oh, yeah, that's not good at arrow. Oh my. Okay, this is a bad idea. Come here. Alright. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Bro, I'm in no the team. Come on, guys. In the boat. Arrow, Why is my teammate me. critting me out? Arrow. Focus arrow. Oh my. Focus arrow. Yes, I need to get out of here. Oh, oh. oh my, there's so the many of you. Cat? Arrow managed to kill off a few humans, but people fell on both sides, which included several of his undead. But the overwhelming numbers of the humans that ambushed the undead were too great for them to handle, and so he retreated. So bad, okay, he's so bad, he's so bad, he's so bad. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> You guys are not chasing me down! Unbeknownst to the humans, however, Arrow had foreseen their ambush and had planned for this exact moment. Because right as the army followed the retreating undead, the Blood Knight was about to begin. On the other side of the human island, Soggy headed back for the highlands to get more people for Qual's group. Only to find out that most of his civilization had already been killed. Yo, Nap, you got anything for me, dude? I'm broke. No, I ain't got nothing, bro. I give you an iron sword. That works. That's better than nothing. Holy dude, crap, I, dude, you're still alive. Yeah, no, look, oh like I, I, I got bullied, I got abused, and I went over, and then it was just deserted where all, where all the guys were. I was with 20 guys, and okay, I picked well, up some stuff. Okay, I think they died, well, bro. Here's, here's the new objective. The new objective is to stay alive as long as possible. We need to salvage other gear. Soggy started to gear up, after which he and his men headed back to Qualls. We're still underground. I'm making pods. I'm making pods. Uh oh. Wait, oh, who's down here? It's another Highland. Oh, it's Stan. What's up, dude? I haven't seen any Highlander in like 20 years, bro. What the hell? Let's go. Follow him. Wait. Follow him. Follow Mini. <laughs> follow Mini Tech. 
Following his arrival, together with Qualls, he took the lead over their now giant group of humans and promised to avenge all the Highlanders that had already fallen at the Necromancer's hands. Rally up around me! Rally up! Rally up, folks! Rally up! Rally up! Rally up, boys! Rally up, ladies and gentlemen! If we want to become victorious, if we want to win, I need everyone in boats! 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 I shall say, for the good of the humans! And after a short speech, they headed to the Necromancer's Island in force. To roll out, let's go! Let's go! Oh, go, go, go! Good job, brothers! Good job, brothers! The very second the Blood Knight began, Arrow received both an extra speed and strength boost, making him even more powerful for a short period of time. And as soon as he felt his new power surge through his veins, he quickly turned around and faced the many humans chasing after him. Oh, okay, you do. Oh, what? What? Come here, guys. Okay, uh, what are you doing? doing? You want zaps? You want to kill me? Come yeah. on. Is that? Buddy, is that you're killing me. He killed all of them. Oh my god! Not here. Stop some business. Come here. No one's escaping me at this point. Come no. here. I gave you the face. <laughs> but now you're gonna be the one. No. Who's still alive? The humans at the village didn't stand a chance against the immense power of the necromancer. And one by one they fell to his blade. At the same time, Boneman intended to use the added power of the Blood Knight to face his own enemies. The Marshlanders that had exiled him. But only the necromancer grew more powerful and so his efforts were to no avail. His want for revenge led to his own death at the hands of the people that he wanted dead. All the humans that managed to flee the onslaught regrouped to the bay on the southern coast, where they found something incredible. Unbeknownst to many people, lots of players from all civilizations had assembled at this bay and formed a great allied force that was going to be called the first army. That is a lot of people. Oh, oh, no. oh my god, it's right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, oh, oh, Upon arriving, the survivors looked for the leader of this massive group, only to find out that this massive human settlement had no leader. After they had found out that their previous leader was not subscribed to my channel, they had ritually sacrificed him. So make sure you subscribe right now so you don't get sacrificed. Nevertheless, with so many warriors in one place, they could pose a serious threat to Arrow, even during the Blood Knight. There was hope for the humans. In the meantime, Soggy, Qualls and his men arrived at the Necromancer's Island. Charge. Oh, there's so many undead in there. Right, we just go, we just go. Charge in, boys. Only to find out that Arrow was nowhere to be found. However, they did find a few undead at the ruined castle. They're behind here, boys. They're behind there. They're here, they're here. Oh my god. Get out of here, get out of here. The retreat, run away! Back to the boats! Back to the boats! <laughs> because of the active blood knight, the ruined castle was protected by a curse. 
and as soon as the humans tried to come near the structure, lightning struck from all sides. Damn, that was a battle. Hey guys, good guys, good 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 stuff. That was a good battle, guys. That was a good battle. Like, good battle. A little bit of editing, with a little bit of editing, we we won. Damn, that was a good charge too, just for it to just die down like that, right? Wait, wait, wait. Scared of what just had happened, Sagi and his men subsequently ran away from the keep, back to the human island. Their mission had failed. And the necromancer was still on the loose. No, let's go back to back the island and wait for them. But... Split off from his undead, Arrow was still on a killing spree. Undead, run, 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 Arrow, Arrow! Hola! Come here! But after a short while, he had also stumbled up on a massive group of humans camping in the south. Wait, there's actually a few people here. Hold up. Oh. That's a lot of people. Okay, this might actually be risky. They don't see me yet. These are a lot of players. Even with the immense powers that Arrow currently held because of the Blood Knight, attacking this many players would be a risky move. But the Blood Knight wouldn't last for much longer as the sun slowly rose in the east. And without the strength he now possesses, this army would be even more dangerous to him. And so, he made the only logical decision in this scenario, and decided to engage the 40 fully geared warriors, all on his own. This is the only chance we're gonna retake, so let's go! Kill him! Kill! 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 Everybody, axes! Axes out! Axes out! Axes out! Axes out. Just kill him! He doesn't oh have resistance, God. I think. There's he doesn't so have resistance, I think. <laughs> Keep shooting! Keep shooting! Go, 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 get him! Kill me, Arrow! No balls! <laughs> oh kill me, Arrow! No Hold on, we gotta- <laughs> Hey, get guys, calm down, get calm down! Get peace! Him. I call peace! Get oh him. my god! <laughs> Accept your fate, I know. I'm you not accepting my fate. We can talk about this. Please, hey! No, no, no. Oh my. You're an evil necromancer, you've killed tons of people! Oh. Get him! Oh my god! He's going up as well. Get him, get him! Get him, get him, get him! Yes, yes, get him, get him, get him! Oh my god! Get him! 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 Oh my god! Nice! Oh no! Kill Arrowkin! Oh no no he goes back to his base! No listen that ability makes it so he can go back to his base. Oh yeah! What? Oh. He was definitely low, he was definitely low. Bro, you're kidding. Bro, you're kidding. Sadly, the army turned out to be too unorganized without a leader. And because of that, they started losing a few warriors to the necromancer. But even though Arrow managed to pick off several humans within the army, there were just too many of them. And so, he was forced to use one of his items. How? I don't know how. That's just how? This is so scary. Like, what the, the fuck? fuck? Yeah, okay, I just said Arrow's known abilities. I just said Arrow's known abilities. No, we know more about him. We know more about him now. Arrow had taken some major damage during the time he was fighting the humans, and ultimately had to use his eye to teleport himself back to his castle. However, even though he had to flee, this attack on the army could be considered a victory on the undead side, as Apart from expanding his army by at least 50 new members, he had apparently also broken the spirit of many humans that were there. After the attack, many of the humans at the bay had lost faith in the first army's functioning. And after they had seen that even with this great amount of humans they were still able to get picked off, 
the players got scared. As a result, many of them deserted from the first army and headed their own way to settle somewhere else, as they considered the big pack of people to be too big of a target. And so, the first army slowly faded away. Humans were dying left and right. Arrow's undead army had now taken over most of the human island. Whatever was left of the human resistance was now either hiding or running around the island in small groups desperately hoping to not run into Arrow and his undead warriors. But in between all the chaos and fear, somewhere in the middle of the swamps, a small group of people was living in peace. If the undead comes here and we three die, I hope we return as undeads and just stay at the tavern. <laughs> to be fair, you probably, you, I think you will. This group of Marslanders, led by a player named Venti, had somehow not been found by Arrow and his undead yet, and had built themselves a small tavern within the swamps, where they would provide food for passing travelers as well as sing songs together. Aside from that, they also built a massive graveyard where they would place gravestones for every single human that had died. You know, should we? Should yeah, I sing forced, a but... bit for us? This is gonna go horrendously, although I do want to hear it for uh, some reason. Bless that Wait, person. Wait, Venti, you can play? <laughs> yes, I can play. Yes, I can play. No way! That's so cool! I can- Hey, you there. Here's a the thing. I'm in love with you. However, it was just a question how long it would last before the necromancer's wrath would reach them as well. <gasps> Wait, we can we can decorate the, the grave with wheat. In the meantime, Soggy Qualls and his men had returned from their failed mission, where he and the other people found themselves in the exact same situation as at the start of the event. They had run out of food during their journey. And because of that, they did what everyone would do and started farming. Food, 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 keep doing it, food, 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 ritual, ritual, where's that, an admin will be here soon. They started doing a ritual. What's going on guys? Why is error? Why is error? This is very culty. <laughs> On the other side of the island, two players named Ronan and Bonkers were disappointed of what had happened to the huge army they had seen during the Blood Night. They knew that if they still wanted to make a stand against the Necromancer, they would have to revive the spirit of the first army. And so, they started running across the entire human island trying to get as many people on their side as possible. Dutch, we're trying to make an organized group. We're getting everybody to the organized group. Let's go to the end to see who we oh, can okay. off. Until they ran into Soggy and Qualls. He might- Oh, 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 there's a group, there's a group, there's a group. It might be undead, it might not be undead. No, it's Highlanders. Oh, it's Highlanders. Highlanders. All right, guys, 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 listen, listen, listen. We're trying to, listen, we're trying to join groups with you guys, okay? Yo, 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 wait, we have everyone here. Why, why don't we just attack Aero? Because we have so many people. Ronan, Bonkers, Qualls, and Soggy joined forces, establishing the second army. Listen up, warriors. We stand here, the last line of defense. And there's no denying that some of us won't make it through today. But by the end of it, we will have fault. Stick together, brothers. Today, we shall take this victory. Unbeknownst to them, Ronan and Bonkers had been followed by some undead scouts, however who immediately headed back to the Necromancer's island to warn Arrow, who was still in his castle gearing up all the resurrected humans that he had killed during the Blood Night. But before Arrow could make any plans, this happened. Get ready, boys. Get ready. Get ready. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Follow me. Follow me. They're over there. They're over there. I see him. I see him. I see him. Guy, rub. Get out of here quick. Yogurt, get out. Get out. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. 
Okay, all well, of you just evacuate. I'll bail out the island. Just the second army had arrived at his front door, and with the castle now not being protected by any curse, they attacked the structure. They're chasing us. They're behind us. They're behind us. Yeah, they're over here. They're over here. Guys, they're over here, they're over here, they're over here! They're all over here, they're all over here, they're all over here! Arrow and a few under that didn't get killed fled. Well, their keep got overrun by the massive human army. And now they were the ones being hunted. Nah, no, there's a- okay, just go back now. I'll, I'll try to take care of it, just get out, just be safe. Oh, no, that's Arrow, watch out, watch out, watch out. Arrow. Hey guys. Hey. Don't let him pick me off. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, oh. Right, guys. But after the successful attack on the necromancer's castle, Soggy started to overestimate himself and in an act of overconfidence charged straight for Arrow himself. You no! I got that! No! My party! Oh, no! The leader of the second army, Soggy, was dead. Help Sammy! Help Sammy! No! 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 He just killed it! Got him! Got him! Okay, no! Oh. No Witnessing the death of his great leader in front of his eyes, Ronan commanded every single human to go for Arrow and avenge Soggy. No, 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 I'm always coming in peace. Get, get him! Get him! Get him! Get your food! I'm hungry! Get him! Get him! Cut him off! Cut him off! Cut him off. Every time he turns around, just shield him, shield him. Yeah. Oh, hey, Brandon. Hello. No, 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 no. Okay, goodbye, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's just more people? What? <laughs> Arrow barely escaped and only just managed to get off his island. He hopped into a boat and sailed for the mainland, while still being chased by the majority of the human army. <laughs> To a point where even he himself was forced to hide underground. To help Arrow escape to safety, his remaining undead soldiers distracted the humans, dying to save their evil commander from getting found. Gotta live. Hi. No way! Okay. No, I'm hitting you with flint and steel! <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> okay, goodbye, Oni. In a matter of minutes, Arrow had lost his castle, his island, as well as two thirds of his undead army, making this the first major victory for the humans. Who is this? I'm alive! Yeah, I'm die. alive! No! Yo, Sal, give, give us your food. I literally have absolutely nothing. I literally have absolutely nothing. They gave me jack shit. I spawned it with nothing. Here, look, and this is literally all I have. They didn't give me no food. Put him in a hole. Put him in a hole. Soggy, now an undead himself, along with a few other undead warriors were forced to gather food for the humans and used as a statement to put shame on Arrow's loss. However, as long as the necromancer was still roaming the lands, the war was not over. After ultimately killing every single undead that was still on the necromancer's island, Ronan and the other humans headed back to the mainland to look for Arrow. I think the border's still closing. The border? The border? Oh, where's the border at? Bonkers! You're still alive! Bonkers, we thought you were dead! Bonkers, we thought you were dead. Guys, guys, we're going on a hunt. We're going on a hunt. There's undead. We need to hunt them down. Come on. Everyone clear out. Who, at the same time, was looking to regroup with the few undead that survived the great attack on the island. Yo, Arrow, 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 where are you? Yeah, I'm right here. Yo, I got you, I got you something, I got you something. What? No, it's my no, spice, the spice of the fight. How did you... 
Men. You don't. Th you we don't ask men? questions. Come I got you. I got you. That's all you. That's all you need to know. For the humans, it was now of great importance to keep their organization. One mistake could end it all. And with the border shrinking and shrinking, it was about to come down to the final confrontation between the remaining humans and Arrow and his undead. The border? Swallowing the graveyard. No! No! Uh oh, border time, guys. Guys, guys, oh, let's stay. Oh, no. Let's oh let's God, do God. our let's do our last prayers. Because of this, Fenty and her people were forced to leave their tavern as well, after having spent the entire event in peace. It was now time for them to join the fight as well. Twaggy, come on, let's go. Everyone collected at one of the mountains in the center of the Isle, and after everything that had happened, the odds were now in the humans' favor. It was finally time for the final fight, the War of Life. Guys, you got under behind us. It's Arrow, it's Arrow. Let's go. Guys. There's that big Don't go down, don't. Yeah, watch your camera, we need a. I'm getting stabbed. Oh, watch out. I'm joking, I'm joking. We have the high guard arrow, don't get try him. it. Come on, tell get me. Get Sartre, get Sartre, he's learning, he's learning, get him, get him, get, get him. Last fight, hold fast, brothers, dude, die. Hold fast, keep going. Both humans and undead fell. And considering the numbers, it looked like as if the necromancer's time was over. The humans were just with too many. But just when the fight looked won, the humans made a fatal mistake whilst fighting the undead. They split up. Because most humans were too focused on killing the last undead warriors, they scattered. Giving Arrow the opportunity to pick up the remaining humans one by one. Arrow! You little you let us a guy in there! No! I'll pay you, I'll pay you, I'll pay you! I'll pay you, I'll pay you, I'll pay you! No, no, I'll pay you! No, I'll pay you, I'll pay you! We are not staying on business. We are not standing on business, dude. We are not standing on business. Until only two humans remained. Fenty and Sky, Having lived a peaceful life in the swamps and not having touched a weapon a single time, fighting the necromancer head on would not be an option for them. However, Fenty had found a bunch of TNT in a ruined tower at the start of the event. And together with Sky, they started digging below the necromancer who at the same time was executing the final humans. Fenty sacrificed herself and finally killed the necromancer. And with Arrow dead, all of his undead warriors also perished. Sky re-emerged on the surface. She was the last human, but the world was at peace.